Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be swatching for you the new Faultivities collection from Night Owl Lacquer. This launches this Friday, October 23rd at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. The Faultivities collection features five of these shades. The other two polishes are the November Cream of the Month and a special standalone polish. So we're gonna go ahead and get into live application. I'm gonna start with the November Cream of the Month. This is Gone Squatchin'. It's described by the maker as a warm brown cream. If you've never tried this maker's Cream of the Month series, we have these beautiful formulas, usually incredibly pigmented, really, really easy to work with. This will be just $8, and the Cream of the Month is inspired by the month that it is released for, but its availability is not limited to that month. It will be available for at least three months. So definitely check out all the creams that the maker has released recently. I'm always such a fan of the colors and the formulas. Such a fun collection. The next shade is the standalone polish that I was referring to. This is called Of A Feather. The maker describes this as a taupe crelly filled with copper to gold to green shifting crystal chameleon flakes gold to green and awkward green crystal flakes and copper shimmer flex. Such a beautiful combo. I'm going to swatch this in two coats, just like everything else today. And I did get opacity in just the two coats. So my full hand swatch will be two coats as well. As you can see, there are a lot of flakies in here and that's, what's giving you most of your coverage. And I think that those little copper flex are such a great addition to this formula really rounds it out and I love the look of this on the nail it is so complex but it's also really really soft at the same time super pretty and that polish as well will be available for about three months so let's get into the fall activities collection we're gonna start with dancing in the moonlight this is just dazzling it's described as a midnight blue jelly with various sizes of navy holographic glitter. So firstly, this base shade that all of these sparkling glitters are uh, nestled in is this really lovely blue that is quite green toned as you can see, but as you build it up, it just gets so luscious and so deep. It really just lets those glitters lay in there and twinkle and I was quite in love with how this looks on your nails in two coats. I'm gonna give it a little bit extra there on the side that I couldn't reach on the first pass. I loved this one. It's so pretty. Those glitters that the maker used are really, really special. So that's Dancing in the Moonlight. And that was just two coats. The next shade up is called Favorite Flannel. And the maker describes this shade as a dark purple filled with purple to burgundy to red to bronze to gold, shifty crystal chameleon flakes. That's the iridescent kind that the light can pass through and charcoal sparkle micro flakies. This one is divine. It has this kind of really rich, deep, grapey purple uh, pigment in that jelly base, really not too opaque so that you can let all that color, especially that strong pink and orange coming through from those flakies. It's so beautiful. I know you're gonna love this shade. So that is three coats on my nails there. That's favorite flannel. There's your macro shot as well. Not all of these polishes are priced exactly the same, by the way, but you can pick up the whole set for $48 if you want to grab the whole uh, set of five polishes. The next shade up is this really yummy mustard. This is called Lost in the Corn Maze, and the maker describes this as a mustard yellow crelly with a strong red to gold shimmer. It is really, really strong, just glows out from inside of this soft, comforting mustard shade. Gorgeous silky formula. I love how this looked in two to three coats. If you have a really strong visible nail line, you'll probably want to do three like I did here. But if it's not so strong, you could totally get away with two. So that's Lost in the Corn Maze. Next up, we have Roasting Marshmallows. And this is just a spectacular white crelly. And it has copper shimmer and various sizes of copper holographic glitter. Really, really sparkling on the nail and really eye-catching. This swatches really nicely in two coats as well. Even with my strong visible nail line, I felt like I got a really great coverage with this one. So I'm going to swatch it for you here in two coats. And then we'll do a full hand swatch and a macro shot, of course. And I did finish off everything today with top coat to just smooth out 
any glitters and give a nice long lasting manicure. So that is roasting marshmallows and just such a fun and really fall reminiscent vibe going on there. The last polish in the collection is Serenity, and the maker describes Serenity as a multi-chrome that shifts olive green, forest green to teal. I actually was getting a little bit of purple on the far edges of this polish as well. I wasn't able to cap uh, capture that shift as well as I hoped that I could have. I really, really tried. My camera just did not want to snag it. So this gets fully opaque in two coats. You're not going to need more than that. And it's a really sumptuous multi-chrome with lots of shifty pigment in there. And you're definitely getting a strong olive to that primary teal to slightly blue toned. But for me, um, past what my camera could catch, I was also getting a lot of that blue purple. So you can see it on my middle finger right there. I was seeing it with my eyes. My camera just couldn't see it. So anyway, there's your macro shot of Serenity. And that's gonna be it for this video. Don't you just love the fall? I'm so happy in the fall. I would love to hear what you think about this collection. I'll see you back for another video very soon. All the info you need to know is down in the description bar below. Talk to you again soon. Bye.